Hello, I'm Rob from Rob Gardner Professional Decorators and in this video we're going to show you how to transform your wooden floorboards that look like this into something really bright and smart like this. First thing you need to do is obviously remove any of the old carpet or vinyl and then just double check your floor is actually suitable for painting. You're going to need a couple uh, tools for this. The first ones you're going to need are a good set of pliers. This is to remove any of the staples or pins that are already in your floor a hammer to repair any of your floorboards or bang in any pins that are just you can't quite get out of your uh, with your pliers and a brush. Now I like to do this on my hands and knees, you can get nice and close to the floor and see exactly what work needs to be done. So as I'm brushing away any of the mess, that's exposing some of the staples and then they can be removed. When you do remove your staples or pins, try and do so without actually levering on the floor too much and therefore you won't damage the floorboard. In some rooms there will be an awful lot of pins so it may take you some time but it's worth putting in that extra bit of attention for a good finish. When you come to some of the damaged areas these can be filled with wood filler and then rubbed down smooth but some people actually like that rustic look and it's a surprise once they've all been painted you don't see them too much. We're using a professional sander and extractor with a 80 grit sandpaper on it. If you haven't got one of these I would recommend maybe going off to your local hire store and hiring one. They're not very expensive just to hire for a day and it will speed up the process quite a bit. You don't need to remove all of the paint you're just giving it a key and making sure it's nice and smooth and you may also see some extra pins that you've missed while you're doing so. The left hand side of this photo shows the extent that we've only had to rub down so it's not too much. Go off to your local decorator center and ask for their advice on which paint to use for your floor. We're using this one, it dries in two hours and it's got a, um, a stain block built into it so it will hold back any of the stains that might come through the floor. You're going to need a nice clean kettle and a four inch brush. Don't need to spend a lot of money on one but if you do buy a cheaper one make sure you wash it out and get any of those loose bristles out before you start. Now you could use a brush and a roller, so just using the brush to cut in around the edge and then roller the main area. This would be a lot quicker than a brush all the time. But we like to use a brush on it all, um, that way you can really get the paint into the two joints between the wood and any little of the pin holes, um, and it just leaves a really nice finish. Now when you do apply it, make sure you follow the paint uh, guidelines and apply in all directions and then just lay off in one direction following the, the grain of the wood. Now most floors like this will require free coats. Ideally you would leave it overnight even if it is a quick drying paint just to make it go nice and hard. And in between each coat you're then going to rub it down again. You don't need to go to the extent like you did last time so just by hand or using one of these poles it's absolutely fine. And we're using a 240 grit sandpaper on this. And all it does is it removes any of the little nips or bits that you've got in your paint and leaves a really nice smooth floor. Bear in mind you're going to be walking on this potentially in bare feet so you don't want to feel like you're walking on sand. So this will leave it nice and smooth. In between each time you've rubbed it down, hoover it up or at least brush it up with a broom so you're getting rid of all those little bits again. And again it's just that extra little thing that will leave a really nice smooth floor. So we've gone for white in this particular one which is what the customer requested. She didn't mind that there was too many gaps and that's the look that we're going for. I'm Rob from Rob Garden Professional Decorators. Please feel free to get in touch if you would like us to do this in your home. Please subscribe and like the video. Thanks, bye!